Now, Russia and other major crude giants have agreed to freeze output, hoping it might stop the price slide that has dogged the global economy for months now. But with the freeze conditional and other producers following suit, the announcement was not enough to stop crude prices from falling yet again. Kim Minji with the details. Global oil prices tumbled again on Tuesday, erasing early gains. West Texas Intermediate fell over 1.3 percent to finish at just 29 U.S. dollars a barrel on the New York Mercantile Exchange. Brent crude fell more than 3 percent to $32.36 a barrel. This comes despite crude giants Russia, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Venezuela agreeing to freeze output at January levels. That's if other producers adopt the proposal in what would mark the first joint OPEC and non-OPEC deal in 15 years. But as it's a freeze, not a cut, it's not expected to solve the supply glut. And with Iran planning to boost production to regain market share after years of sanctions, analysts don't see the situation to get any better. It underlines the underlying problems we have that we are going to see more and more supply into the market, especially with Iran coming fully on, uh, on stream. And I, I fully expect downward pressure on oil to continue uh, after a small respite this week. Global oil prices have plunged over 70 percent in the past 20 months, pushed down by near record production from both OPEC and other producers. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.